guys, it's Sunday and today I thought I would kind of go through my Sunday routine with you. So I'm going to be sharing a few of the habits and the things that I like to do on Sundays to help me feel a little bit more prepared and organized for the week. And I'm going to start with breakfast. I don't know why, but on the weekends I go straight for breakfast. Maybe it's because Dan is usually with me, but on the weekdays I'll make a coffee and I'll sit down and then I'll go back and make breakfast. I don't know why, that's how it works, but let's just get into it. So for breakfast, I will usually have one of two things and you have seen one of those things a million times over. That is like my cooked breakfast with my poached eggs and potatoes, tomatoes, spinach, spring onions, all of that. But then other times I will sometimes make a chia pudding, which is really good, especially if you are short for time because you can make it the night before and then you just wake up and you pretty much have breakfast. And I just use one cup of almond milk to a quarter of a cup of chia seeds and that will make two servings. For this breakfast, I've chopped up a nectarine and sprinkled on some flake almonds. A lot of the times I will do raspberries and then sometimes blueberries, but you can use pretty much any kind of fruit and you can add all kinds of seeds and nuts, whatever you like. On Sundays, I tend to do a bit of a pampering shower session. I usually do them on Sundays and maybe about Thursdays. It's where I do everything in the shower. I usually do a body scrub and fake tan removal, hair removal, and I, of course, always wash my hair as well. You may remember in January, I talked about one of my 2019 hair goals being that I was taking out my hair extensions and I was going to start growing my natural hair and it's actually starting to grow. And Function of Beauty worked with me on that video and they're also sponsoring today's video as well. These are all of my Function of beauty products and the pink ones are my current shampoo and conditioner. I've been using them since December and I wash my hair about twice a week if you're wondering about the rate that you will use them. And all it takes is actually just a two minute quiz outlining your hair type, your hair goals and your personal preferences. So like your color and your scent. So the first time I went with pink and this time I have gone with the seafoam green and I said in my last video that I would definitely get the seafoam green. So here we are. They have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins, and are 100% vegan and cruelty free, and they're made in the US. As you can see, they have all come with a pump and it makes life so easy. My hair is definitely growing and I'm so excited. Maybe about an inch longer and I'll be happier. And it's definitely starting to thicken out as well. My extensions left my hair really thin, which is really annoying. This little one here is a leave-in conditioner. It's the world's first customized leave-in treatment. And I always have to use one of these after I get out of the shower. It just helps smooth and hydrate and protect my hair whenever I'm using heat or styling. And this one is available as an add-on to your order. They come with these really cute stickers. Mine say function of Rachel, but you can customize customize it to have it say function of anything that you like. You can click on the link in the description to get 20% off your first order and it's currently available in the US, Canada, Great Britain, the EU, Australia and New Zealand. Sundays are made for the markets. I usually get to the markets pretty much every weekend and mostly on Sundays. It's definitely something that Dan and I do together a lot in winter. We get a lot of fresh produce and then we usually do a juice up. In summer, not so much because things are usually busy, but I absolutely love the markets. It's just one of my favorite places to be. I like the markets because I get to tick off one of my chores, which is getting groceries, but there's still so many other cool things there. Like there's home decor places and there's also some restaurants and more interesting things as well. It's, it's just a way more wholesome activity as opposed to going to a supermarket. Another thing I do on Sundays is of course clean. I love cleaning. I clean pretty much every day. And one of the things that I would probably do is clothes washing because chances are I have a lot of clothes built up from over the week and I wanna clean them all and have them dry and ready so that I have all kinds of outfit options going into the new week. I'll do a few other things, maybe like vacuum, kitchen stuff, maybe clean something else that might need a bit more of a deep clean. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the one. I do like to do a bit of a clean up on Sundays and get my house feeling fresh and ready. It's just a really nice way to feel more organized and prepared for the week ahead. This is my uni situation and it's pretty disgraceful. You know, I really tried to keep everything organized this semester and stay on top of it, but sometimes it just all gets too much, especially when you have lots of assessments and lots of things happening. So I pretty much just emptied my bag here the other day and I just really want to sort through it and prepare myself for the week. I try to clean up from last week and prepare myself for the coming week. And last week was just a really busy, messy week. 
It's not perfect, but it will do, especially at this point in time when I'm so busy. I put all of the extra fabric down into the drawer underneath, except for this bit because this is my assessment that I actually need to do. And then I have just all of the folders for each of my subjects here, my diary, some random stationery in the corner, and then one of my pencil cases. The other pencil case is actually on my desk because I'm in the middle of using it, but that just feels so much better. On Sundays, I do like to get in and try and do a little bit of planning. I've recently been into using highlighters. I love these four colors. I just think they're a nice color combination and it's been helping me get all of my thoughts out and I have been breaking tasks down into tiny, tiny things, which has been actually quite helpful. It means I'm not forgetting anything. It does look very overwhelming, but it's actually really quite helpful and beneficial doing it that way. So I just like to prop myself up here on my desk and start writing things out. What I've been doing in order to get all of my thoughts out is actually using a couple of pages of a notebook to just start throwing down everything that comes to my mind that I know I have to do and once it's all out on the paper then I can start kind of arranging it into time blocking or putting it into the correct order of my week and my day so it's a lot of work when it comes to planning because it takes quite a long time and I find that I'm writing my list two to three times over before I'm actually putting them down on a diary or on a proper to-do list but it's just been really helpful and then every Sunday I get real comfy. I put on some trackies and my little boots and oh my God, everything is gray. My boots are gray. They're not boots, they're like socks. They're from Bonds. My tracksuits are gray. My carpet is gray. My couch and my throw rug is gray. I just love gray, okay? And I sit myself up on the couch, usually at Dan's house, but I'm filming here because his house is kind of dark. And I get comfy or we get comfy and we just chill out and relax. I think it's really important to wind down on a Sunday night and spend the last part of your day just chilling out and relaxing so that you're going into the week feeling really, really fresh. So that's my Sunday routine. I hope you guys have found this video interesting or helpful or motivational in some way. And up the top here, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I'll leave a link to another one of my videos and I'll see you in the next.